The reason for King Charles' health was announced at exactly 6 p.m. King Charles has been diagnosed with cancer, Buckingham Palace announced today. This comes after doctors discovered the condition while he was being treated for an enlarged prostate last week. The announcement was made at exactly 6 p.m., and it made a special kind of sense. But until Buckingham Palace confirmed the type, they said it wasn't prostate cancer. Now family members are gathering around, including Prince Harry, who is set to fly in to see his father next week. Charles told his son about his diagnosis before it was made public, in a sign that the strained relationship may be warming. The Duchess of Sussex will reportedly stay at home with her two children, four-year-old Prince Archie and two-year-old Princess Lilibeth. The timing of the announcement will be aimed at a wide audience. For millions of Britons, listening to the BBC News at 6 p.m. is when they get the latest news. Typically, the royal family makes sure that important royal announcements are released before major news bulletins or before newspapers go to press. Queen Camilla gives invaluable support to King Charles. His wife Camilla Parker Bowles was in despair when she learned the news, but she is ready to help the monarch in the fight against the disease. The Queen Consort supports her husband and endures all difficulties steadfastly. Camilla is a flint. Of course, the sad news that her husband was diagnosed with cancer was a huge blow to Her Majesty. But she steadfastly endured and accepted it. The King's wife treated many things calmly, said a source close to the royal family. At the same time, the Queen Consort plans to fulfill all her duties in full. The couple's acquaintances are confident that they will be able to withstand everything and defeat the disease. Friendship, love and respect is what unites them. In many ways they are very different people, but at the heart of it all, they are two people who really love and respect each other, and yet laugh a lot. It's really sweet, the insider added. Queen Camilla knows one of the most important ways to support her man who has waited so long for a high position, and now has had his wings cruelly clipped, at least for now. King Charles has one invaluable weapon in his arsenal, when faced with the undeniable shock of a cancer diagnosis, his wife and soul mate Camilla. She has the sunniest temperament, and her default mode is to be optimistic and upbeat. For someone who has always been prone to reflection, this attitude can be one of the most important factors on his road to recovery. Don't misunderstand, the Queen will certainly be shocked and extremely concerned that the man she adores is facing a double whammy of health problems. But her positive attitude towards life in general will no doubt help the king as he continues his treatment. It's worth noting that as she's had an almost full royal workload in recent days the king, prince and princess of Wales are out of commission, she must have had an underlying worry that her husband would face a new threat. It was brave, but she showed no signs of breaking under the pressure. This is a woman who never really wanted a public role. She simply fell in love with the man who had the biggest public role of all planned. Queen Camilla has gone from being one of the most despised women in Britain to having a remarkable way of gaining everyone's respect and admiration. She displays the same stoicism that many born royals do, continuing to fulfill her commitments in the coming weeks, even while Charles undergoes treatment. She knows this is one of the most important ways to support her man, who has waited so long for high office and now has had his wings cruelly clipped, at least for the moment. Queen Camilla opened a cancer center knowing Charles's sick, state visits are in big question. Camilla opened a cancer center just a few days ago, already knowing that her husband King Charles is ill. The king himself has been aware of his diagnosis since early last week. Many experts say that the queen managed to keep her face at the event. It is also interesting that February 4 is a day to fight cancer around the world, and on February 5 there was an official announcement from the palace. It was also learned from sources that the king's oncology was found at an early stage. The prognosis is good, Charles can't wait to begin his full-time duties. Foreign tour, including the announced tour of Asenia and Australia, is still under great doubt. It was scheduled for October this year. The same tour will coincide with the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting, CHOM, in Samoa, where the king was scheduled to make a speech. Experts report that even if King Charles's cancer treatment is successful, royal visits this year remain uncertain. The monarch's health will be the royal family's top priority in the coming months, and senior royals such as Prince William and Queen Camilla will be active while Charles undergoes treatment. 
February Camilla remains virtually the only high-ranking member of the monarchy, and since Charles and the Welsh, and now Prince Edward as well, have stepped back into the shadows, the royal consort has appeared on the main stage on a daily basis. Who accompanied and greeted Charles from the hospital, visiting him daily and smiling for the cameras like the Cheshire Cat? Since then, as it was announced, Camilla appears in public every day, attending one event after another, and viewers know that they have never seen Camilla so radiant and happy. At the same time, the Queen is always in the crowd, someone is sure to ask about the King's health, but no one ever asks an uncomfortable question about Catherine's health. Is it because Charles is more worried about Charles than the Princess of Wales with her mysterious and serious illness? Oh, no. It's because the crowd that greets Camilla is always fake. For security reasons and to avoid embarrassment, random people are no longer allowed to approach the royals, only women and kids with British flags given to them beforehand. The double blow to the royals' health represents unprecedented circumstances, said Lady Lansdon, Camilla's friend and maid of honor. But the Queen's approach is no different from her usual attitude of stoicism and hard work, combined with good humor. She has a bright twinkle, and it shows very easily it puts people at ease very quickly. I'm sure Camilla encouraged the King to break royal tradition and speak openly about her diagnosis. She is a very direct person, which is one of the nicest traits about her. And, when she's not engaging in maneuvers for the sake of the firm, she will clap for him like any other loving wife. For a couple at their age, such news is a sharp and unpleasant reminder of human mortality. But they both have a lot of work to do, and they have few years to do it. And so they may well see it as a hidden blessing. The cancer has been detected, it is being treated, and the king is expected to return to his full-time duties as soon as possible. Until now, Camilla has appeared in public either rarely or as an adjunct to Charles, serving as an Annie to calm his irritability and placate him when he throws tantrums over Leek to incur the like. And now she runs everything by herself, smiling and enjoying the freedom and lack of competitors to the royal agenda. In 2025, the spouses will celebrate the 20th anniversary of their wedding. Recall, Charles in his youth was in love with Camilla, but his parents were against this marriage, the eldest son of Elizabeth married Diana Spencer, from whom he had two sons William and Harry. In 1996, Charles and Diana divorced, and the monarch was able to reunite with Camilla, whom he married in 2005. Sadly, Princess Diana tragically died, 